name is Dwayne Giesbrecht and I work with the City of Calgary Water Resources. We work on the water, wastewater and stormwater systems to increase capacities and to rehab existing sewers that are degraded. My name is Ali Rafi and I work for Volker Steven Contracting. We do roads, underground uh, sewer and water. Uh, I've been with the company for uh, 23 years. My name is Bill Stace and I work with inline contracting from Edmonton, Alberta. I'm the crew foreman on the tunneling crew. I make sure things uh, run smoothly and um, hopefully everything goes well. This project is called the Confederation Sanitary Sewer Trunk Upgrade. And the purpose of this project is to increase the capacity to our sanitary system feeding the northwest corner of the city. Uh, the old sanitary line has been in the ground since uh, 1905 and uh, it's over capacity. So we're installing a new one and uh, making more room for uh, future developments. The city of Calgary has been growing quite rapidly over the last number of years. So all the pipes need to be larger and this is just part of an ongoing project to upgrade the infrastructure. The pipeline uh, starts just east of us and heads west to uh, 6th Street and then goes through the various subdivisions. It is about a total of um, 2 kilometers in, in uh, length. This portion of the sewer was anticipated to be open cut initially, but we looked at the alternative of tunneling and found it to be the best choice in terms of the social impacts and the economic and environmental impacts. It's a 54 inch tunnel inside diameter and it will be going for about 660 feet. We're hoping to have the bore completed uh, by about the middle of February of 2010. While the tunnel is being, being constructed, we'll do some more open cut installation and hopefully the project will be complete by early spring. There's been core samples taken, uh, rock at the uh, six meter depth from there down to our elevations and clay from the surface to that uh, 20 foot depth. We are anywhere between nine to 10 meters below all existing utilities. The dimensions of the start pit are approximately 20 feet wide and 35 feet long. Uh, yes, it's a rather deep pit and the costs of digging the pit are considerable, so we went with the smallest pit we could get away with. We had anticipated an open pit excavation here, but once we started excavating in the material here, we found the bedrock was quite fractured. So we have about a seven meter deep uh, shoring and shaft rather than the open pit that we were anticipating. I think I first heard about Robin's equipment about maybe 15 years ago and uh, it allowed us to go through some very hard ground that we couldn't get through with our conventional auger boring equipment. The most remarkable feature I've noticed about it, it seems to assemble a little bit easier than other tunneling uh, systems that I've worked with. The machine has got a rock head on the very front with roller cones that grind the rock up into powder. Uh, then using a conveyor system, it delivers that powder onto a mud cart, which is then driven out of the tunnel, empty, replaced, sent back in to grab another bucket. Every time a bucket is taken out, uh, this machine advances itself a couple of inches and it just keeps going until we reach the end. As SBU Field Service, I perform multiple functions with our SBU machines. I do uh, setup, maintenance, repair, call outs, electrical troubleshooting, mechanical operations. The whole range of field service that Robbins offers for the SBU series of machines. With this particular application, it's a 66 inch breasted cutter head. It uses 11 and a half inch disc cutters to allow us to go through some of the harder rock. It brings the muck up from the bottom, dumps it onto the conveyor. The conveyor carries it throughout the entire length of the machine, and then it drops it into a muck car system with a locomotive that runs it through tracks out the casing, which is then removed with either an excavator or a crane and dumped 
set back into the locomotive and run back in to be refilled and repeated. They have a steering capability which allows you to maintain a straight path or make slight steering corrections as necessary. It's a gravity-fed uh, sanitary sewer, so the grade requirements are very strict, and the access for digging the machine out is quite tight where we're coming out, so that's why line is so critical. Line and grade for these particular projects or these particular machines is accomplished through the use of either a tunnel laser system or a, a customer-supplied laser system. I will be training an operator to work in conjunction with me in case there's overlaps or times that if I was to go down or be sick, it would allow the other op operator and the machine to continue functioning while I'm not on premises. Uh, I was welder, but we changed, we use a Robin's head. So they put me in the head, they showed me how to do it. Yeah, he's teaching me how to drive the steering head, how the drill with the head, all. That's, uh, that's set up before we started in. And uh, when we got all the head in, we're gonna start with jacking pipe and all that. Looks like that's gonna go good, but we got a long way to go, so we need to have somebody good to show you how to do it. We are more than happy to offer training to the customer as needed, but we are also available to stay on the job site for the entire time and run the machine for the length of the bore. It's a pretty fancy machine, and uh, she's, go, she's going good. I would say the Rockhead's capability would probably uh, match up with uh, a micro-tunneling system. I think in the right application, uh, it's certainly the way to go. I'm not 100% sure, but I know micro-tunneling is uh, quite a bit more. The reason we use this machine is because of, uh, I guess, cost. Um, it was the most uh, economical way of doing it. I like working with Robbins because uh, the guys, they know how to do it. And when you start drilling, that's, that's the best part.